I'm Thomas Smith, and today we are taking a look at how to upscale or enlarge images from your AI image platforms like Midjourney or Dall E. And the problem with these images, they're super cool, but they're very, very small. So even if you upscale an image in Midjourney, their upscaling is not great. It's only going to be about 2,000 pixels. By default, it's even smaller. It's about 512 by 512. Um, same problem with Dolly from OpenAI. Their images are great, but they're only 1,024 pixels square. So you can't print them really. They're not going to work great for uh, higher resolution screens and that kind of thing. But uh, there's an easy way to, uh, to upscale them without a loss of quality, even in many cases improving the quality. And the software I use to do that is Topaz Gigapixel AI. Um, and I encourage you, as we start this tutorial, Go ahead and grab a copy of it so you can follow along with me. I put a link in the description down below. You can go there, get a free trial, try this out, and that way you can follow along. So pause and go and do that and then come back and, uh, and we'll walk through it together. Um, so once you've got it ready to go, um, here's Topaz Gigapixel AI, super, super simple software platform. Here it's a desktop software. It works offline, which is great. So we've got this all loaded up. Now I'm going to go ahead and find the image that I want to upscale. And again, I can create this through Midjourney. I can create it through Dolly. I'm going to download that image, and then I'm just going to drag it over into um, Topaz here, where it says Open Images. And here's my image. You can see it's this really cool illustration of a uh, California golden poppy. And what you're going to see on the left here is um, the original image. And then on the right is the preview of what the upscaled image is going to look like. And already, you can see, if we blew up this image, since it starts out so small, um, it's 1,024 by 1,024, it's really pretty pixelated. You know, if I go to some of these starker edges, for example, you know, really going to get some pixelation on, the, on that. But with Topaz doing this, um, they actually trained their system on millions of images and it uses AI to do the upscaling. And so you can see in this preview, it's so much clearer, it's so much crisper. Um, all of the noise is gone, all of the like artifacting and weirdness and blurriness is gone and you get something super crisp. So you can drag uh, this little box around and it'll render this preview on the fly. Anything with detail, it's uh, again, super impressive what it's able to do. Um, there's no faces in this photo, but if there were faces, it can do face refinement. Just make sure to check again by dragging this little box over it to make sure that uh, you like what it's doing with the faces. Sometimes it can distort them. Uh, so our next step is then we're going to choose our upscaling factor. I've got it on four times, which is pretty good. This will be a 4,000 pixel square image, um, but we can go up to six times if we want to, and uh, that's going to make it much, much bigger. Or we can do a smaller um, factor. We can auto detect the proper settings here and let it suppress noise and sort of achieve a good balance. I think this a good. these are good settings. I can also, um, if I want to, you know, reduce the blurring a bit more or anything like that, I can tweak these. I usually do stick to the auto detect settings there. So the final step here is uh, just to hit save and it's gonna pull up the dialogue for saving this out. I'm gonna choose to preserve the source format. You can also change it if you want something different. You can append something on to the end of the file name if you want, you know, something like upscaled or whatever. And then when I hit save, it's gonna go into a queue to process, and you can see it processing down here. Um, and that's gonna take a little more time than that preview. Usually it takes about a minute to two minutes per photo for me to do this actual upscaling process. And uh, we'll just fast forward here, and there's the end result. Um, and you can see it's pretty impressive. This is now a over 4,000 pixel square image. The detail looks great. Um, this is something that would be print resolution. You could put it in a book, um, you could make it a book cover, you could put it on a billboard, you know, you could do whatever you needed to with it. And you can see as I zoom in, the detail is really crisp, um, beautiful, it really looks like it's a handmade illustration here. And it's high enough resolution that I can use it, again, for print, I can use it on a web page where I need high res image. Um, I could put it on a card, whatever I wanted to do. I could do, use it as a t-shirt design, anything where I need that higher resolution image. So Topaz Gigapixel AI is just really impressive at doing this. And you can see it was very simple. You can do batch processing with the tool as well. So I just did one of these images, but you can also upload multiple and run them all at once. So if you have a big library of AI generated images, 
then you can uh, upscale them all at the same time. And of course it works on things that aren't AI generated too, like old digital camera photos, old scans, historical photos, that kind of thing. It does a great job with those too. So again, um, just take a look at the link I'll drop in the description. It's an affiliate link. So if you do end up making a purchase, I get a commission. So thanks for that. Um, but you don't have to purchase it. You can get a free trial. I believe it's a 30 day trial. 